property rich but cash poor. That is the situation for some Oahu homeowners who are paying a higher property tax rate. However, some relief could be on the way thanks to a possible compromise. KITV4's Andrew Pereira joining us with the story all new at 6. Andrew. Well, Paul and Yunji, the compromise was put forth last week by the Real Property Tax Advisory Commission. Homeowners who live in their million dollar properties may still pay more, but not as much. Known as residential A, the new rate taxes homes at $6 for every $1,000 of value instead of $3.50, the rate every other homeowner pays. For a home valued exactly at $1 million, the higher rate means an additional $2,500 in property taxes. Council members have heard an earful from some of the more than 7,000 residents whose homes are above the threshold. Ever since it's passed, uh, we've received a number of inquiries by phone, uh, by email, when I'm out in the community, people talk to me about it. So this is definitely a hot issue for many people. Under a proposal made public last Thursday, the Real Property Tax Advisory Commission has come out with a possible compromise for those who live in their homes. The first $1 million of value would be taxed at the normal residential rate of $3.50 for every $1,000 of value. Any additional amount would be taxed at a higher rate yet to be determined. That's because the advisory commission says the compromise should be revenue neutral, meaning the city would not lose much of the $33 million it's now receiving from the residential A classification. The rate for those might be like anywhere from nine to ten dollars to be revenue neutral, and I think, you know, they're just pushing the 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 difference onto the you know higher end properties. Councilman Kaika Anderson voted against residential A and doesn't believe any compromise should net the city the same amount of cash. So if we're going to go revenue neutral, are we going to hold up two bats and say we have a metal bat and a wooden bat? Which one am I going to hit you with? The city already provides an exemption for those who live in their million-dollar homes. However, some homeowners were not aware of the exemption and failed to file by the September 30th deadline. For those that did qualify, the exemptions are already drawing much-needed funds from the city's treasury. Financial impact is about 1.2 million. So subtract from 33 million, 1.2 million. The advisory commission is also proposing a separate property tax rate for bed and breakfast homes. Anderson says that could legitimize illegal businesses, and a similar measure introduced by the mayor last year failed to pass the city council. Any new, any new tax structure, that is, will have to wait until next year's budget cycle. Back to you.